Tesla's brand new battery is finally here, the 4680 battery. But what does this really mean? What are some of the advantages? How fast and how long can you charge this battery? And how soon you're gonna get it in this video? This video is perfect if you are considering any Tesla, especially the Model Y, but I say any Tesla, because we're to go over what the big deal is about the 4680 battery if you're in between maybe the Model 3 or a variant of the Model 3, the long range performance, or this Model Y. Welcome to the only top five Tesla channel on YouTube, and I'm gonna give you point number one, and that is everything to do with this speed. And if you're unaware, this is Tesla's brand new proprietary battery that they've been working on in-house with the help of Panasonic. But how fast does this battery actually charge? Well, one of the first videos we've seen on YouTube is from Spoken Reviews. So shout out Spoken Reviews. And this individual, a new Tesla owner, he took delivery and he showed us exactly how long this new 4680 battery charges. So long story short, he went from 9% to 90% in only 40 minutes. Now I know from my supercharging experience and he was at a supercharger, a V3, a level three supercharger. And it took 40 minutes to essentially go from zero or nine mile, 9%, well, I should say, to 90%. So here's the thing. Now it charged relatively faster, but the battery peaked only at 227 kilowatts. Without making it too complicated, some other models can peak charge at 250 kilowatts. So I'm about to get into point number two, but before I do and finish point number one, if you are thinking about a Tesla, I have to mention it, down below are the best accessories that I only use in my Model 3 after driving 15,000 miles. Don't waste your money, don't get crap accessories. Check out the links in the description. But what I was talking about with those kilowatts per hour is why is it that it's only 227 when other models are higher? Well, Tesla actually explained this and they purposely put in a smaller battery pack. Now we'll go into why later in the video, but long story short, this is a higher efficiency from what we can initially tell battery, but let's go into point number two. So point number two has everything to do with the advantages of a 4680 battery. Should you really wait for a Model Y built in Austin to get this battery? Well, we've heard that there should be higher energy density in this battery, which basically means there's faster charging. Like I said, you can charge up to 100%. So there are some advantages, but listen to this. Supposedly on the previous battery days, we've heard Elon Musk talk about the 4680 battery advantages, and we were supposed to get 54% more range which if you did the math, it's over 400 miles in charge, but what is actually how much range you get? So we're about to get into point number three, and I think that is a really, really important one. So stick around for that. But the range actually, in reality, is only 279, which is slightly less than the long range. So when it comes to advantages, really the jury is still out. We're gonna have more users, like the one we just spoke about, new Tesla customers who are taking delivery, and they're gonna show us their charging curve to really see if it is more energy efficient. So point number three, let's just get right into this. How soon are these batteries going to get into your hands? Well, yes, you can take delivery currently. They've been enticing Austin residents who live near the factory to essentially take a 4680 battery. Now these Model Ys, and by the way, the 4680 battery is gonna be in the standard range Model Y. Now those are being sold to employees of Tesla, but how soon can you get your hands on one? So just recently, at the beginning of the month, June 1st, Tesla received a pilot line of 4680 batteries basically like a quality test. And from there, we can see, based on this article, how soon they're gonna get into your hands in mass production. So again, we mentioned Panasonic as the battery partner for Tesla, helping create these 4680 batteries. And the CEO said, quote, on Wednesday, it had shipped samples of a more powerful 4680 
format electric car battery to the U.S. electric vehicle maker as it prepares for a surge in North American power pack production. So that sounds great, but when am I gonna get one? So the CEO reiterated and said that the mass production is set to start during the next fiscal year, starting in March. And he also confirmed rumors that it plans to eventually have a 4680 production capacity in North America. So by early next year, we should see full blast 4680 batteries and hopefully standard range model Ys in full swing. So hang tight, you can order them very, very soon. Model Y, standard range, not yet on the website, but very, very soon. So point number four is what is the future of 4680 battery? And point number five is actually going to be the downside. So stick around for that, or you can look at the timestamps below. But let's go over point number four. What is the future of the 4680 battery? Well, real short, the answer is this. The 4680 battery pack will not only be the structural battery pack, which by the way, an advantage makes the car even safer because the floor of the Tesla is made up of 4680 batteries, making it very rigid. There are less parts involved with that car. But here is also what you wanna know. 4680 will be in the Cybertruck and also it was talked about that the 4680 will be in the new long range Model Y as well. So currently the long range Model Y does not have 4680 batteries in it. Again, a battery that you can charge to 100% and there's other advantages that we talked about, but there are big changes with the Cybertruck and a new standard range coming soon that will include 4680s. Last but not least, let's go over point number five. What are the downsides or the gripes, if you will? Well, a lot of people, there was a lot of hype on battery day, which a lot of users and customers are calling potentially a lie that Tesla exaggerated how much range. Again, we were thinking this is gonna be over 400 miles, and then the standard range is soon to be released with only 279 miles. So a lot of potential Tesla customers, especially when it's only a few grand less than the long range, again, we're talking about the Model Y, we're hoping for at least more bang for your buck, if you will. But again, Tesla did clarify, and they said they wanna make this car affordable for all. And with the cost of materials that make batteries nowadays, unfortunately, we have seen the cost of cars only increase. So they chose a smaller battery pack for those and other reasons. What we do know is that nobody else has a 4680 battery pack and that is big, big news because later on when the Cybertruck and other cars come out, Tesla once again will be so much further ahead than the competition. But I do want you to tell me, are you considering a 4680? Or if not, which Tesla are you considering? Put them in the comment section below and I will comment back to each and every one as much as I possibly can. So the only way I know you like this content is of course to drop a like and consider those links in the description for the best accessories for your current or future Tesla. Again, this is Matt from Funk the Trunk. We will see you in the next video.